Welcome back here on your Tuesday evening, your patio planner. I mean, obviously it could be better with the winds the way they are, but at least it is comfortable outside. Temps in the upper 60s to low 70s. So certainly if you don't mind sitting out in that breeze, not a bad evening just to enjoy. Um, what do we call it? A late April day now, I suppose, as we continue to chug our way through the month. Looking at the next seven days, overall a mainly mild stretch. I put mainly because you're going to get to the seven day forecast. Sunday not going to be probably all that comfortable across the region, but for the most part, temps will be mild. We are still tracking storm chances, especially Thursday night into Friday and Saturday night into Sunday. And by the time we head towards the middle of next week, those temps could be trending even higher. But let's talk about this uh, next weather maker coming in at the end of the week. This graphic I have not touched at all since last night. There hasn't been a lot of change with it. We still continue to watch this low pressure system that will be moving out of the Rockies. And right now it still looks like the best chance that storms would be probably after 9, 10 o'clock Thursday night and severe thunderstorms will be possible. Now the higher threat level is off to our south. And again, you look at this, this is the energy coming out of that low, the, the trigger mechanism for these storms. This is 1 a.m. on Friday and may just now be sneaking up into the region. So it could very well be again, an overnight event similar to what we had last Monday. Here's what we've got right now, a slight risk of severe weather. So that's a two out of a five on the threat level from roughly the Tri-Cities southward. Now, as I mentioned, if you go further south, there is a higher threat level, already an enhanced risk of severe weather. So an enhanced risk of severe weather three days out, that grabs your attention. So right now, southern Kansas down in Oklahoma looks to be kind of the bullseye for this, but we are certainly uh, in the mix for severe weather as we get into Thursday night. Please stay updated with the forecast. The temps up north, you're in the low 60s right now, 63 in Ord, 60 in Ainsworth. Compare that to 72 McCook, 71 Hebron, and Tri-Cities right now holding it around 66. Winds, now yeah, they're still a problem. Straight out of the north for the most part, gusting 25 to 30, which when you combine with how dry the air is, I mean, we've got Humidity values at 25% or lower. That fire danger is a little elevated out there today. But thankfully, the winds will be relaxing tonight. We may see a little bit of shower activity out in the southwest part of the state tonight. And that cloud cover drifts eastward tomorrow, but not expecting a lot of rain out of that. In fact, tomorrow night could hold another round of some scattered showers as well. 40 for the low tonight in the Tri-Cities. Slight chance here that we get some rainfall. Better chance the southwest Nebraska. 67 tomorrow. Less wind. Similar temps. I think it's going to be pretty comfortable. 48 tomorrow night and maybe some showers popping up yet again. Looking at upper 30s to around 40 degrees for those low temps tonight. In your seven day forecast, Sunday kind of stands out. It does not look great. It looks windy, kind of chilly, maybe some showers and storms. But overall, those temps fantastic and we ended on a high note at 79 on Tuesday I was tempted to go 80 I was oh maybe tomorrow maybe tomorrow we'll see we'll 57 see. and 50 for a high and low on Sunday yeah we it's gonna it's just Trying the to way out there. I know the way the system's coming in it's gonna be a very mild night uh -huh. 